Just one year ago, it was still a British territory, and the economic tiger was continuing to roar loudly in Asia. As Chinese President Zhang Zemin's plane landed in Hong Kong on Tuesday, the world was a very different place. Zhang was in Hong Kong to help celebrate the anniversary of the territory's handover and the step towards Chinese reunification it represented. But those celebrations promised to be more muted than last year's, thanks to Asia's economic woes, despite the welcome given to the Chinese president by flag-waving schoolchildren. A year ago, the Union Jack was lowered at the end of a century and a half of British rule. Hong Kong's last governor, Chris Patton, led the British withdrawal from the territory amid fears for the financial and political future of its inhabitants. But despite those fears, China has largely received praise from Western governments and even grudging respect in Hong Kong itself. Uh, up to this moment, I think everything unchanged. Even we can say speak uh, freedom, uh, what we want to, to uh, speak out, everything. Well, I think basically the Hong Kong government did a fairly good job in terms of you know, handling the transition and so forth. Okay. The celebrations may be muted, but there will be one high-profile guest apart from Zhang. US President Bill Clinton is due to arrive in Hong Kong on Friday, where his words on economic revival will be more than welcome.